Hello and welcome to the Irish Ace Theatre. Previously, I've been discussing the background to Newhall, County Clare, and its links with the O'Brien family. In fact, the old house may have been two old houses. Note the difference between the section furthest from the front and the middle portion, which has limestone coins at the point where the two parts meet. Sections of the house still reflect its origins in the late 17th, early 18th centuries, such as this wonderful chimney piece in a bedroom made of a dark grey carboniferous limestone popularly known in Ireland as Kilkenny marble. In the aftermath of the Williamite Wars, much of the land owned by the O'Briens in this part of the world was granted by William of Orange to one of his generals, Arnold van Keppel, later created first Earl of Albemarle. But William's grant to Keppel was unpopular with Parliament, and besides, Keppel didn't want to own land in this part of Ireland, so he sold it to a syndicate, one of whose members was a man called James MacDonnell. James MacDonnell was related to the MacDonnells Earls of Antrim, whose base for a long time was Dunluce Castle in County Antrim. Today, of course, the family lives elsewhere in the same county at Glenarm Castle. James MacDonnell's own forebears had been deprived of their lands in County Antrim and banished to County Clare. Here they soon intermarried over successive generations with members of the O'Brien family. Hence it was that in 1764, James MacDonald's grandson, Charles MacDonald, bought the New Hall estate from one of his O'Brien cousins. It seems that New Hall wasn't big enough for Charles because soon afterwards he commissioned a handsome new brick-faced addition to the front of the building. Back in the 1960s, the late Desmond Fitzgerald, the Knight of Glynn, proposed that the architect responsible for the design of this building was one Francis Bindon. Bindon's an interesting character because besides being an MP for County Clare where he lived, he was also a talented amateur painter. In this respect, he's best known for the portraits he painted of his friend, Patrick Swift, Dean of St. Patrick's Cathedral in Dublin. But Bindon was also an amateur architect to whom the knight attributed a number of buildings right across Ireland. One of them is St. John's Square in Limerick, the city's first formal public space. It was laid out in 1751 and built over the next decade. Bindon is also credited with designing a number of country houses, such as Woodstock in County Kilkenny. Home to generations of the Ty family, the building was sadly burnt during the Troubles in the 1920s and has remained a ruin ever since. And according to the Knight, Bindon was responsible for designing the last part of New Hall, a block built at right angles to the older portions, extending further on either side and ending in two-storey bows. And in the next episode, I'll show you what the interior of New Hall looks like and how it might be perhaps in need of a little attention. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you so much for watching the Irish Aesthete. Goodbye.